Welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into something incredibly exciting, a brand new AI engine called Bolt.new. We're going to put it to the test and see if it can surpass some big names like Cursor AI and V0 by Versal. What makes Bolt.new unique? Well, it's an AI that can handle everything from writing code, running commands in React, importing necessary packages, and deploying apps automatically to platforms like Netlify, all in one go. Imagine this, you give a prompt, and Bolt.new handles everything else for you, from debugging to deployment. Sounds amazing, right? Well, let's see if it delivers on that promise. Today, I'm testing Bolt.new by giving it a prompt to create a multi-type calculator app, something quite complex. The prompt includes everything from a home loan calculator with detailed breakdowns and repayment options to a BMI calculator with personalized health guidance. Not stopping there, it will also build date, time, age, and conversion calculators, and more. We're talking about several calculator types, each with a sleek dark glass morphic UI, theme switching options, and dynamic charts. Sounds like a tough task for any AI, right? Now, let's go over the prompt, step by step. Here's the prompt we're giving Bolt.new. Home Loan Calculator, this calculator should have inputs for home value, down payment, interest rates, and all the nitty-gritty details, like loan insurance and monthly homeowner expenses. On top of that, it needs to generate repayment options with frequency choices like monthly, yearly, or one-time payments, and then output a detailed breakdown of loan components with graphs, tables, and charts. BMI Calculator, it should calculate BMI based on height and weight, and not only give you the number but also guidance on whether you're underweight, normal, overweight, or obese, with personalized tips. We also have age calculators, date calculators, time calculators, and conversion calculators for metrics like weight, length, temperature, and more. Other tools include a BMR, basal metabolic rate, calculator, body fat calculator, and calorie calculator for daily intake suggestions. The UI needs to be modern, with a glass morphic effect, and it should have theme switching between light and dark modes. Oh, and it should be PWA ready, a progressive web app that works both online and offline. Pretty ambitious, right? Let's see how Bolt.new handles it. Initial version, alright, here we go. After sending the prompt, Bolt.new gets to work. And here's the first version of the code. Okay, not bad for a first attempt. It does need some work though. The UI isn't quite what I was expecting, some elements need a bit of polish, especially in terms of UI slash UX updates. Also, a few functions aren't working as they should, like the hover effects, and the charts and tables are missing. But remember, this is a brand new AI, so I wasn't expecting perfection on the first try. Let's ask Bolt.new for changes, let's ask Bolt.new to update the UI, fix those functions, and add the missing elements like the bar charts and detailed tables. This is where things get interesting. This isn't quite there yet. The hover functions are still a bit off, the colors don't match as well as I'd like. And some of the key elements like the bar charts and split tables are still missing. Let's give it another go. I'm noticing a few bugs here and there. Bolt.new might be missing some parts of the prompt which is understandable, as it's still pretty new and running on web containers. The cool thing though is that I'm communicating with it in layman's terms, and it's doing a decent job of understanding. This is important because not everyone is a coding expert, so if it can respond well to simple language, that's a huge win.
Alright, let's now ask Bolt.new to implement date picking packages so it can improve the code further. More bugs, but still impressive. Okay, so the latest version still has some bugs, but overall, it's doing a solid job. For an AI that's so new, this is pretty impressive. It's still missing a few things, like versioning files and making incremental improvements, but the fact that it's doing all this on its own, writing, debugging, and deploying, is a game changer. Even though it's not perfect right now, I'm seeing huge potential here. It reminds me of Cursor AI and V0 by Versal, two other tools that offer automated coding assistance. But for me, Bolt.new feels like a pure gem in the making. You can easily build countless solutions with this AI. Imagine not having to code everything manually, not needing to debug for hours. Just give it a prompt, wait, and boom, your app is ready, deployed on Netlify, running in minutes. So, that's where we're at with Bolt.new for now. There's still some work to be done, but I'm optimistic. Whether it will fully overtake Cursor AI and V0 by Versal remains to be seen, but for now, this is definitely a tool to watch out for. If you want to see more tests, updates, and comparisons between these AI tools, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. We're just getting started with Bolt.new, and I'm excited to see what this AI can do next. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.